Good morning from yours truly, a gal on the go. It's Monday, welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. I'm packing my bag for the day and I just thought this was comedic, so I thought I'd show you. You know, I'm so funny, I'm a comedian. No, I'm kidding, I'm so kidding. I'm headed to a workout, and then from there I'm going to shower at the gym, head to the podcast studio, record an episode of Gals on the Go, then we're headed uptown. I got myself a little gift, <laughs> because I need to get myself gifts, no. I bought something, and I'm really, 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 really excited to show you guys it, so we're going to go pick that up at a really fancy store, and then from there we're going to get facials with Sunday Riley. So, big day, Gal on the Go day, um, so I'm packing my bag, and I just thought this was funny, I've got like my makeup granola bar, lip products, <laughs> that time of the month, my outfit for recording, AirPods, this bag will, I'll put like my dirty clothes in, um, cause I don't like my dirty clothes to touch everything, you know, in the tote bag, my earrings, a water bottle, hairbrush, my flat iron, cause I'm gonna fix my hair at the gym, drinking a Topo Chica right now, these are literally the best thing ever, and yeah, oh these hand sanitizers are really, really cool. This one's vetiver scented. I finally found a vetiver scented hand sanitizer, so this is great. Um, that's my makeup and my wallet, obviously. So, yeah. It's 72 degrees outside, and that makes me really happy. Finally breaking out my biker short workout sets, because I have a few, but there was just no shot that I was wearing them to work out when it's really cold out. I think it's here to stay, you guys. The warm weather and I could cry. Of course, I'm going to Florida next week, but I'll be back in the city. I love this workout set. I am very self-conscious about my legs a lot of times, and especially with biker shorts, it's hard. These are from Set Active. I will link them below. This this little set, I got it a while ago, but I, I assume they still have it. Ugh, it's so flattering. And when you go to the gym, sometimes it's nice to like have a workout outfit that makes you feel good. So I'm here to tell you gals, my, my gals that have similar body types, this is a good one because these aren't too long. So I feel like it kind of helps. I don't know, that's my personal opinion. So obviously, and I love green. I've got like a ton of necklaces on right now because I'm just like trying to minimize the amount of stuff I have in my tote bag for my outfit later. But yeah, this is my tote bag. It could be a little sturdier, but it's got all kinds of stuff in that. And then I'm wearing my Air Forces because a lot of times my trainer, Jane, shout out, she has me take off my shoes. She actually, when she works out, she doesn't wear sneakers at all um, to like stabilize her, I guess, because like with the type of workout we do, I don't really know. Ask her, not me. So I'm gonna wear these because these are what I'm gonna wear later and I don't wanna bring two pairs of sneakers since I'm gonna be like checking around the city. Um, so today I'll just tell her like, I'll just take off my shoes, I guess. Um, so yeah, and I like try to do my hair a little this morning and then when I get out of the shower, I'll like redo it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna go. I'm Ubering there, I ran out of time and I'm like, I just needed to like get everything together. So, it's okay, I'm gonna be walking a lot today, I think, I don't know. Let's go, let's start the day, happy Monday. It's gonna be a busy week, a good week. Go dogs. <laughs> Workout is done, feeling good, like I should. We're in the shower now, well, we're in the bathroom. This is my gym's shower, it's honestly so nice. I've never washed my hair here, but I can see it being a vibe. Um, so I'm gonna take a shower, body shower, get dressed, and I they have like a little changing room, so I'm gonna do my hair and makeup here too. Then we're gonna go grab some lunch on the way to the Gals in the Go studio, what's happening? And we'll record, I'm excited. Made it to the office. I stopped by the Balthazar Cafe and I grabbed a Moroccan chicken soup and some fruit. Um, love that little cafe. It's right next to the restaurant. Opening shift. We're turning on. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Turning on the lights. I did my makeup at the gym because I just like to shower and get ready all at once, but like the lighting in there is so bad and it's a lot better in the office, but whatever. Um, it's 122, Brooke won't be here till two, so it's nice I have time to like eat and everything, and then she comes and we record. We're doing an episode about 
it's very requested. Both of our ideal weekend in New York City itineraries. So if any of you guys are traveling here soon or if you live here and you just want some new recs, we're like going in depth, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday situation, like things you should do. Um, so I'm really excited for this episode. We prepped a lot for it. Um, the shirt is from Meow. I absolutely love it. I'll link it below. I also have a corset in the same print we love. And then I'm wearing my green cargo pants that a lot of you guys bought when I talked about it. Like these are honestly amazing. They're like a baggy fit and they're not too long if you're 5'3", like me. Um, so yeah. I've gotten this before from Balthazar. It is so good. I know it's chicken and like rice. I think cilantro, it's delicious. And then like I said, I got some fruit too. So I'm just gonna listen to a podcast, look out the window and vibe out. Okay, so my headache is just not a vibe right now. Oh my God, interrupted in the best way. Look at this fit, love, with the tote. Oh my gosh, Vivro. So cute. I, I was just telling the Dan fam <laughs> that I'm drinking non-caffeinated or caffeinated coffee. Oh wow. Not because I'm like my head just hurts and you know like sometimes caffeine helps with that. Yeah. So that's just, that's what I was gonna wow, tell you guys. Big, big, <laughs> big, big things happening. Big things coming. I haven't yes. had caffeine in like two months. And but this weekend when I was with Ryan's grandparents, they <laughs> Like, you know, made coffee in the morning and yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna like, you guys have decaf? So I like had some. I feel like most people don't keep decaf like no, in house. No, yeah. definitely. It's like a restaurant thing. Yeah, Cause yeah, like yeah. people like to have it with dessert and I'm just like ordering it at 9 a.m. But you know. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I got it last week with my mom. Um, I went to the YSL and the Bab. My new gal in the go bag. I've like always wanted a designer tote, but they always had really thin straps. And I'm like constantly lugging stuff around the city and I wanted to like look good with my outfit and elevated. And YSL came out with this tote bag. Definitely a treat yourself moment, but I'm using it as a work, a travel bag, everything. And my mom approved it too fits everything i literally was like can i just put everything in my tote bag in here and the guy was so nice he was like hyping me up with it so we are in the upper east, or no midtown now right by like the plaza hotel central park got my facial with sunday riley semi soon but i'm thinking to treat myself to some food outside somewhere like a salad i might see if sarah beth's has a table for one and just really you know own this moment. I'm so thankful for literally everything in my life and it's a really cool day. And the recording went great. This podcast episode's so good. I'll shut up. Thank you guys all so much. Nothing would happen because of y'all if it weren't for y'all. And yeah. I think I'm back. back now I am feeling so good honestly just really relaxed and I kind of just want to like keep that going um, my head definitely still hurts unfortunately it stopped hurting when I had that coffee during the recording but then it kind of came back and then during the facial it went away and then I was responding to emails in the car and that was a bad idea because looking at my phone screen um, made my head hurt and I've noticed my head hurts when it's like a rainy day sometimes I don't know if that's just me it's raining right now, but it's so cozy. Just put on my Barefoot Dreams row. I've got the candles going and unbox some packages. Do some gua sha and relax because it's been a busy but great day. My purse, guys, or my purse, my tote bag. It's so good. I'm so obsessed with her. It's the YSL, I believe it's called the Maxi Tote, I think, and it truly is Maxi. I mean, it is big. It also comes with this pouch, which I think is elite, because then you can put random stuff in here that you don't want just floating around your tote bag. 
So it also comes with this little golden clasp here, and I'm gonna show you guys what it does, which is also another reason why I liked this bag. So obviously this tote is huge, which is why I wanted it. I'm seriously obsessed with it, but sometimes it's like, okay, this is a lot to be walking around with, and if I'm not carrying as much as I did today, you clasp it in the middle here. Hold please, my hands are slippery from the serum. So you clasp it in the middle, and then what you can do is fold in the sides. So then it's this size, which is definitely a lot more realistic if you're like walking around and you don't want your bag hitting everybody, which can probably happen. That's what I really liked about this. And if I have the clasp in and I have it folded in like this, I can still fit my computer, which is nice. If you don't want it to be as flashy, you can just do this side. It's just such amazing quality. So thankful and blessed to be able to purchase this myself and everything. But you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of this bag. Prepare to be sick of me. <laughs> the TikTok sound, but yeah, so that's that. I'm going to sit here. Oh, it makes my head feel a lot better. Um, and just squash, uh, just watch some TV. Wow, it's already eight o'clock. I, I had that like salad around five at Sarah Bass, which was so nice. I'm in my eating at restaurants alone era and I couldn't be happier. I prefer eating at restaurants alone if it's outside. I don't know why, but I think, I don't know, it just feels more like I'm people watching, I can look at things. Inside, I don't love it as much, but I'm not against it. So I hope this inspires you guys to eat outside alone. It's really such a vibe. Anywho, if I get hungry later, I'm just gonna make like a co-crazy salad because I have the ingredients. Who is she? It's a lot later. I'm just watching Younger. About to fold more laundry. Got laundry going in there. Tomorrow is a washing sheets day, which I am really excited about. I have Brooklyn and sheets. Shout out Brooklyn and um, and they literally get softer after every wash, so you never lose. Like, you just keep winning, honestly. <laughs> um, and I haven't washed my sheets since my mom stayed with me. <laughs> so, I need to clean those, and, well, I have another pair. I have so many sets of sh these sheets, because I'm obsessed. Anyways, I don't know what I'm going so into detail, but we will talk more about Brooklyn in, in the morning, because they're amazing. Good night, guys. Just changed my sheets or I'm about to I just put my other Brooklyn and sheets in the wash These are my spare pair here. I'm literally just So obsessed with Brooklyn in Brooke and I talked about Brooklyn in on the podcast yesterday for probably Five minutes. They don't even sponsor the podcast. We just love them so much So I have the Lux sateen sheets and these are the only ones I've ever had I really want to try the linen sheets. I've heard really good things about those especially for summer but I've just had such a good experience with these Lux sateen sheets. They're seriously amazing. The packaging is so simple and clean when you get it. Boom, done. It literally is amazing. They have different bundles too. I got the hardcore bundle, which comes with all kinds of things. I can show you guys on the website as well. You can build out two with color preferences. I go for white, but in the past I've had, you know, different colors because sometimes I just want to switch it up, you know? High quality bed sheets are really expensive and honestly Brooklyn and gives you the quality and comfort at an affordable price by cutting out that middleman which is really really great. Um, that's what I love about Brooklyn and I've been to both of their stores in Brooklyn and in West Village and when you walk in it's just simple and minimal and you get the job done. You feel like you're such in a good mood too when you're at Brooklyn and as you guys can tell, I'm really obsessed with Brooklyn. In. While the classic and luxe hardcore bundles cost between $200 to $250, depending on the size of your bed, comparable luxury sheets typically cost around $500, so that's just something to keep in mind. Also to remember, you spend one third of your life in sheets, which is actually crazy to think about, and you don't want them to be insanely uncomfortable. You know, like you wanna be very comfortable. You want them to be insanely comfortable. And uh, honestly, Brooklyn and Sheets are tried and true. They have 100,000 five-star reviews and more. 
and they're just a great bedding company. I mean, you guys know I have their towels. I have their pillowcases. Like, they are pretty iconic, honestly. I have a bath mat. <laughs> Like I was saying earlier about the bundles, instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. Their best-selling Lux Sectine sheets are the ultimate bedding upgrade. I'm telling you guys, I feel like I'm in a hotel bed every single time I get into bed with my Lux Sectine sheets. Every single person that has stayed the night at my apartment literally compliments my bed. I'm not even kidding. Like, I should start doing testimonials. They're like, oh my gosh, what are these sheets? I feel like I'm in heaven. And I'm like, yep, pretty much. Brooklyn in, they're the best. I've converted so many of my friends. I've gotten so many texts like, oh my gosh, I totally just used your code for Brooklyn in. And I'm like, yes, go off. Brooklyn in is running a Memorial Day sale, you guys. You get 15% off on all Brooklyn in products. This is running from May 25th to June 1st. So definitely go check that out. Link below. Use it up. Now time to get ready for the day. We've got a busy day ahead, of course. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm in the biggest of rushes. Not actually, but like actually. Um, Cause I had a wardrobe situation. Like I had a whole outfit plan last night so I could like sleep in a little bit this morning and like not worry. And I've tried on the dress like two days ago. And for some reason I just could not get the zipper happening. Like it literally was just like stuck in fabric and I had no patience, just like I have no patience for these earrings right now, ah! Okay, Danielle, Danielle, no, this is not, nope, ow, ow. Okay. So those earrings aren't happening right now. We're at a breakfast with Rare Beauty. Um, I'm so excited, they have two reps that I've been DMing with forever. And I'm literally wearing so much Rare Beauty, like I always just love their products so much. So they asked to get breakfast, and so we're taking them to Dudley's in the Lower East Side. It's so good, it's like my go-to breakfast spot i also had instacart delivered oh and my laundry's done um so yeah, i'm just gonna put on a little lip balm and i'll put on my other necklace when brooke and i are walking so i'm meeting brooke on our walk there and then we'll walk the rest of the way together it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful day today like seriously and then after dudley's we are going to a veronica beard event i they sent me an outfit but i don't see it anywhere in the mail room so that's okay Here's my outfit. It kind of doesn't really match. This is from Revolve though, love it. My little Telfar orange bag. Hair is in a ponytail because could not be bothered. Oh, I just need to spray on some perfume. I think it's cute, like summer in the city. It's just, I don't know if the orange goes, but like it's gonna have to go. Let's go. Hello, Brooke. You look so cute. We're matching shoes. Brooke's gonna switch yes. into heels. I didn't think of that, but. Um, Cutie I girl. Bring me a big bag because Danielle told me that these gals. Might yeah, you're about to get some products. Yeah. Brooke has this annoying, crazy thing that she gets lunch food for breakfast. I hate, but I just don't. Okay, number one, breakfast food doesn't particularly like tickle my. What is that? Tickle, tickle your fancy. Tickle fancy. It tickles my fancy. Yeah, I'm not particularly tied to it. So you don't need them. I don't really see like that as a time thing, you know. I don't no, see I will be like, at the airport. So good, like I know that was one time I got sushi. Or, or and sushi. I was like triggered. Yeah, it was vegetable sushi. To be fair. Yeah, comment down below if you're like Brooke. If you're a Brooke or Danielle in this if case. You don't care. Like it, it's Breakfast. just not caring about the time. Okay? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I might get like a bowl with like an egg on top. Yeah, or if something. there's an egg on top, I count that as breakfast. Oh, you do? Okay. I know it's not in the breakfast section, but you know, like a crispy rice bowl or something with like an egg on top. Ooh, that sounds cool. I could deal with that. Guys, the Rare Beauty team, so Such phenomenal. Angels. One girl's so from nice. Florida, so we were like chatting about that. They're both like just so cool, so sweet, so down to earth, so cool like learning more about Rare. It was just us and them. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, personal. at the end, the check comes and we're like, oh, let's split it. And they're like, no, it's on Selena. Very Iconic. Cute. I know, I know. Thanks, Selena. <laughs> about to watch a tennis match. Don't text. Love it. it. Might be one of the first times in my life I've actually stepped court. Stepped, stepped on the court. On the Look court. at you go. Look at you go. So cool. Back 
back now. It was such an amazing morning, so much fun. I just got a package in the mail from Royo Bread. It's keto-friendly, low-carb bread. I'm so excited to try it. I'm a big bread girl. Um, so they sent everything bagels, artisan bread, and then um, sesame bagels, which are literally my favorite thing ever. I honestly might have one for lunch, so updates to come. I also wanted to show you guys what I got from Instacart earlier. <laughs> I'd gotten just like a half loaf here of bread, of like sourdough bread. Need to put my ice roller away. Peanut butter pretzels, they're the best snack. If I just like need a little pick-me-up, I just have a couple of those. Got more oats to make oatmeal. Italian dressing mix. Um, it's the only salad dressing I really like. Or like vinaigrette, so I'm just gonna make more of that. You just like put it in a bottle. I forget what you mix it with. Vinegar, it's delicious, needless to say. Avocados, been loving having avocados for breakfast. And I got tortillas, because also for breakfast, it's so good with like eggs. And then I got a thing of bananas, sorry my phone's going off. And then I also got a couple other things, but I they were refrigerated, so I just threw them in the refrigerator. Kombucha, of course, <laughs> look how much Tobo Chico I have. I'm so happy about it. I got cantaloupe, it's been really hitting it for me. Broccoli, because I think I'm gonna make that for dinner tonight. More baby carrots. And I got some more like blueberries. So that's my little grocery haul. Hope you all enjoyed. Also in the mail, I ordered finally some good American jeans because I've heard amazing things. I'm a more curvy gal, I'd say, and I've heard um, good American is really good for that. So I got a size six slash 28, that's my size. Um, so I'm gonna try them on and I'll show you guys and I'll link them below if, if they're good. These are more of like a baggy fit which I'm always looking for the perfect fit for that. And then these are more of like a straight leg, no rips or anything. Um, I just love the pants, so I hope they fit right because everyone talks highly of them and I'm just praying and hoping. So updates to come there. Okay, so these definitely fit in the waist and butt, which is always like the hardest thing for me. However, I don't really like the cut, like at all, like at all. So I'm probably gonna return these. I was hoping they'd be less, I don't really know what I thought, but yeah, I mean they fit well. They're stretchy, they was like good, but I don't like the bottom, so that's that. Okay, these on the other hand, I actually really like. They're more um, low rise, so if that's not your vibe. I think this is really cute for summer with like a white tank or something. I like how they fit around my waist a little bit lower, not as high rise and like super baggy, but that's just like what I'm into right now. Definitely gonna have to cut them and it's perfect because they're already this raw hem So I'll be able to cut it and it looks exactly the same. I'm just really short. I'm five. I'm not really short, but I'm five three um, So yeah, I'm actually gonna keep these. I like how they round out rather than going straight. They're very flattering They just look so good in the back too. So one out of two. That's a win, right? Hi, my voice cracked. Um I'm about to hop into therapy. I've just been I just Cleaning, I'm just always cleaning. Um, putting away groceries, watching a little TV, posting stories from this morning. When I go to events, I try to like, you know, take content whenever, but enjoy them. And then when I leave, post, because it's just more of a vibe and I can really be present and get to know everybody. And I don't know, so I just sat on my couch and did that. And yeah, now I'm about to hop into therapy. Quick little update, I guess. Um, a lot of you guys are always checking in on me, which is so, so sweet. Um, the last few years, my anxiety has been through the roof, panic attacks, the whole nine yards. And in the last month or two, month, I'd say in the last month, and I don't wanna jinx it. And I didn't even wanna say it on the vlog, but I did wanna like keep you guys posted. I've been really good. I've been feeling a lot better. Not as many like shortness of breath, panic moments. And I mean, I don't know exactly. I mean, it could be because the weather's coming out beautifully again. It could be so many things um, and it's never perfect. I'm like, I'm better now. You know, it's something that I'm working through, but I've been really like been good about my supplements the last few months. I've been working out two to three times a week, which I think has been amazing for my mental health. And I've cut out caffeine mainly. This morning I did have a few sips of coffee. Every now and then I have a few sips, but Every morning when you guys see me make my coffee, it's decaf. So I think it's just been a few different things that I've changed in my lifestyle and I am really thankful. I don't know, it could just be like a time, I don't know, like I feel like with everyone with anxiety, it's like sometimes there's it's good, some days it's bad and recently I'm really, really thankful that I've just like feel like I can really breathe, you know? I don't feel like 
heavy in my chest all the time and I'm thankful. I literally started crying the other night. I was like, I feel so good. And I've been great and I love my life. And I think a lot of people think, oh, if you're if you have anxiety, you're you hate your life and you're so stressed. It's not, it's not like that. It's crazy like where your mind can go and how easily you can kind of it, it's crazy. And it's something I'm still figuring out. And I get nervous to talk about it sometimes because obviously I'm not a professional and everyone's experience is differently but the few times that I have opened up about it you guys really received it well and that's why I'm here at the end of the day I really want to get more into mental health in general supporting organizations talking to you guys more about it I just like need to figure out where my place is in it oh my god it's 359 um, so I'm about to hop into therapy and why I thought about all this is because I had this therapy booked and I was like oh but I'm doing so good right now that doesn't matter because no matter what, even if I'm doing good or doing well, whatever the proper grammar is there, things always come up when me and my therapist chat and it's just good to check in and bounce off ideas with somebody. Just say what you've been up to and uh, I don't know. I just find that it's good maintenance for me to still do the therapy even if I feel like, oh, I'm good now. No, it's good like because you don't want it to build up is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna hop on my Zoom link. Got my kombucha really hot, I need to turn the air down. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys after. All right, therapy was fabulous, per usual. It just takes a load off, you know? And like I said, I was like, I have nothing to talk about. And we just kept talking for an hour and 15 minutes. So that just shows. Um, I'm about to go for a hot girl walk, but Ryan's coming, which I'm so, so happy. He's been, working on boundaries with work i've been working on boundaries just been like like i feel like i should stay in tonight and like get a ton of stuff done but also nothing is like nothing i would do tonight would like affect anything it would be like maybe to help me get ahead for the rest of the week but what would feed me right now is being outside in the city that i live in it's 75 and sunny in new york and i'm blessed that i have the flexibility in my schedule to do so <laughs> it's six o'clock I called Ryan and he was like, I really want to go. I don't know what to do. So instead of going to the gym later, he's going to come on a walk. So I'm really proud of both of us. We're going to go for a walk. And I know you guys are like, this is not revolutionary. But sometimes you just got to take a step back and be like, what's life giving to me right now? And like, what do I need? Like, in order to be able to do more work, like later tonight, knowing him and knowing me, you got to have some fuel somewhere. So I'm so excited. I was going to go alone and I called him and I just said like, hey... Do you want to do this? And he was like, you know, I think I should. Like, I think I should come. So I'm really proud of him. I'm really proud of me. Because sometimes it's hard to just go for a walk. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna, I could cut all this out if I want to. But I just feel like telling you guys how I feel. So hopefully this motivates you in any sort of way. Like, we're not even going to be gone more than an hour. Because we both have stuff to do. But I think it'll just be good. So we're going to the West Side Highway. I'm so excited. It's 75 and sunny in New York City. I keep saying that, but it's got to happen. Here's my hot girl walk featuring Ryan outfit this set is from beyond yoga my little fanny pack is from stony clover and i know my makeup in the front's a lot darker than in the back which is funny but um i did my makeup super fast this morning and i didn't realize so whatever and then i'm wearing my adidas ultra boost so that's the fit that's the look then we're gonna come back and i'm gonna make some dinner for myself maybe ryan too i don't know but definitely me <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm so excited. Hello, hello, Mr. Tide Eye. Hello. Beautiful day. On our walk, we made it to the West Village. I actually went by pretty fast. I should have like looked at what time we left. Oh my gosh, so the only Corona they had is these 32s. We stopped for a drink and chips and salsa. Cheers. No, this is, I'm gonna pour it in here, right? Like, what is happening? We stopped at Rosie's to reward ourselves for our walk. Well, we ended up just getting dinner here. <laughs> Why not?
Good morning, guys. Um, fun, busy day ahead. Um, <laughs> I'll walk you through it briefly. So, but we're also building out an outfit because I have a meeting with a brand and then I'm going to work out and we're just going to attempt to make this all one outfit because I already have to bring three more outfits for later and I'll explain why in a second. So I'm wearing this set from Parallel Apparel. I love it so much. Alicia and Ashley's brand. Putting on these earrings from Five and Two Jewelry. Really, really like them. We're just attempting to make this all one because I just can't be bothered. I put like a little makeup on. I put like the Rare Beauty um, like tinted moisturizer they just came out with. It's called like Positive Light or Radiant Light. Um, and some necklaces. And I'm gonna throw a blazer over this with my sneakers so that when we're done with the breakfast meeting, I can just hop over to my workout and take off the blazer wear the same shoes. Obviously you can't do this for every meeting ever, but I think I can pull it off for this um, specific meeting. So yeah, lay of the land. We are doing another meeting with a brand. I'm not gonna say who yet, because <laughs> I like to keep secrets, no I'm kidding, but I'm not sure they like asked to meet with us. And so I don't know if they like have a project proposal or something, which would be so cool because this brand is huge. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're going to a place called Hill and Bay in Murray Hill, and then Brooke and I will split up. I'll head to my workout. You're just texting me. We'll head to my workout and then shower at the gym, get ready all over at the gym. <laughs> That's why I like try to do my hair this morning. I like brought my Dyson Air up to touch up, and then go record an episode of the podcast with Brooke and we're having a guest on, Eli Rallo. I love her so much. She's known on TikTok and Instagram, honestly, to do like rules, like rules for, you know, your weekend, rules for St. Patrick's Day, like random stuff and they're so good. So we thought it would be a good idea and a fun idea to have her on and do like rules for being a gal on the go. Um, so it's gonna be really, really fun. Check her out on TikTok. She's the jar on TikTok, I believe. Um, and then after that, we'll take a brief break and then Eli will leave and Brooke and I are recording another episode because our um, video editor is gonna be going out of town. I'm going home for two weeks, so we didn't wanna like do virtual or anything. So we're recording two episodes today and the second episode, um, because I, well, I'm just gonna tell you guys, it'll be up probably. Brooke won't kill me. Um, it's gonna be a summer bucket list and summer goals like inspiration podcast. I'm so excited. We prepped a lot for that and I think it's gonna put you guys in a good mood for summer and get you guys motivated if you're not already. Then from there, <laughs> we're not done. Brooke and I are going to an event in Brooklyn for MAC makeup, which is so cool and it's their collaboration with Stranger Things. A little out of breath. I actually am a little anxious today, which is warranted because I do this to myself, so. Whew, it's all good. I'm gonna take many breathers today. This is the fit. Bring in a huge bag full of stuff. And then just like a little white purse because my outfit for the event later involves white shoes, so I thought I'd match with the white purse. I'm pretty proud of myself, you know? She does meetings and then she works out. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take you guys along the day. It's gonna be a busy day. It's gonna be a gal on the go day. Then tomorrow and Friday are a lot more chill. So, hope you guys come along. Meeting is done. Now working out with Jane. She just taught me some breath work. So I'm a really, we love breath work, we love breath work here. I feel a lot more grounded and good. Um, yeah, we're working. Okay, workout is done. I'm so glad I did that. I feel so much better i was feeling like super just like anxious for the day and when i first started working out i was like really short of breath like just kind of unable to you know just center myself and then jane had me do this at like 
breath work where I lay down and put my legs in a 90 degree angle against the wall and do some really deep breaths. And every time I exhale to push against the wall, change the whole rest of the workout. So I'll show you guys later if I remember. But I'm just taking off my makeup, which is funny because I'm about to just put it on again. But I'm going to put on more for this because we're recording two episodes of Girls on the Go. Uh, um, I'm about to shower at the gym, obviously. It's like my new brand. <laughs> and then grab some food. I'm not hungry. I'm still full from breakfast. Breakfast was really good. And then, um, but I'm just going to grab a snack or something, record the two podcast episodes. And I just brought, it's so nice out. So I just brought a couple dresses to wear for the different episodes. Also keep in mind, our podcast, Gals on the Go, we don't ever really pre-record. We're just pre-recording for two weeks. So usually it's very current and it is pretty current. I'm very excited for the shower. See you guys after. All right, we've got the dressing room over here. Literally, I messed up over here. Already, I love this sweatshirt on you. you. We're like matching in our pink. Didn't even mean to. Love it, Eli's on her way up. One shirt today. I was yeah. Like, like, oh, like days. you just take the sweatshirt off and that's your next outfit? No, I bought oh. it, but I was like, we're recording too, like I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. No like, worries. <laughs> we just finished episode number one with Eli. Brooke's working, don't mind her. Sorry, she's not yeah. being rude. Um, we do like a, we have a playlist that we like add all of our songs of the week on. Yes. And she's the DJ for that, so she's working there. We just went to the bathroom and changed um, we don't typically do this, but we're doing it this week, and I'm really excited. The episode with Eli went so well. If you're wanting to feel like motivated, energized, validated, like all different kinds of things, she's just an amazing human being, and um, it's a really, really great episode. I'm really excited for you guys to be able to listen to that, and then the one that we're doing right now, we're talking about our summer goals, summer bucket list, like just get you hyped for summer, and I think it's gonna be really great as well. So. Yeah, this dress is from, oh gosh, I can't remember. Oh gosh, bless my heart. God bless, Southern girl. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, but um, it's it's from like a, like a, a boutique of some sort. So anyways, we're gonna record the next episode. Brooke looks so cute in her little yes. yellow. Look at that. We're gonna get started. Headed to an event with Mac. Very excited. This looks so cute of you. Just looking out at the city. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Guys, that was so funny. I literally have tears in my eyes. Honestly, like so funny. I can't even put it into words. Honestly, we're the best people to do something like that because we just said in the podcast how much we love amusement parks and experiences, yes. and she loves and visuals. I haven't had that happen in so long. Where there's um, like it's so immersive. There's like actors and stuff. Yes. Oh my god! So Disney, like when they come up to you, they're like, help! Like I need help! Yeah, like, like no. have you seen my brother? <laughs> <laughs> this news reporter came up to us, like literally in the gift shop area. Like they yeah. stay everywhere. Like you walk into this movie shop, and he's like, oh, you'd love this movie. It's like The Breakfast Club. Oh it's yeah, based he's in the eighties. Like, well, he found the Terminator. He's yeah. like, not really a love story, but you can find yeah. a love story. <laughs> it was just like really immersive. I was very impressed. Thank so this you. is our ride. Um, very fun. If you like Stranger Things, oh my god, you literally feel like you're in the movie. It's kind of scary, too. Anyways, back to New York. We got, well, we're in New York, but we're in Brooklyn. See ya. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I just got HelloFresh in the mail for this week. Um, and I think I'm just going to make some for dinner. So I think I'm just feeling the pasta speaking to me as it always is. I'm going to try this one pan trattoria tortellini bake. Um, it says it's gonna take, it usually says how long it takes, which I love to see. 25 minutes, I'm there, because the cheese tortellini is already made, so I think I just need to prep, so I'll put these stuff in the fridge. This is, oh, this is small, this is all the ingredients for this one, that just seems easy, I'm hungry, it's already 8.30, we're gonna cook. Dinner is done. Made the tornellini. You're supposed to do like panko and like cheese, but I'm not a huge cheese person on pasta. 
So I just did like the tomato sauce and the Italian seasoning and garlic. And then I had broccoli that I wanted to make um, to have a little green. So and I accidentally flip flopped the uh, pan covers, but it's kind of cute actually. So I'm gonna eat some of this. Ta-da, this looks fabulous. Dinner for one, please. Hi, it's been one of those days where my eye just like tears up and it like won't stop crying. My eyes are just like, I don't know, I think it's the pollen the allergy. I don't really know, my eyes are just like dying today. Um, Dinner was so yummy. I'm so sleepy, it's only 10.15, but it's been a very long day. I feel like I could have done a better job of taking you guys along, but it was just too go, 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 and I needed to just not. Anyways, the busy part of the week is done. Tomorrow and Friday are very chill for me, and I'm so excited to just do some like at my apartment content and just like chilling, getting stuff done, um, just hanging out. Um, might see a friend tomorrow and I have like a workout on Friday but it's chill and I'm like really happy about it yeah so it's only 10 15 right now but I think I'm gonna go to bed I think I'm gonna get in bed I'm just gonna put my food away because I have some leftovers which will be my lunch for tomorrow and do the dishes from like tonight so my apartment doesn't smell like food I hate that and get into bed and read but I'll probably like fall asleep within like three pages so yeah, I'm excited. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. we're taking out my hair extensions. I'm so excited, honestly. I did this last summer too and it was just the best thing because I just can't be bothered. Like I just constantly wanna like rip them out and just like wear my hair in a like sleek bun and it's really hard to do that with extensions. And jumping in the pool and the beach since I'm going home next week, it just makes sense less maintenance um maybe i won't put them back in but i think i'm liking them i don't know we'll see i don't know i'm like horrified and terrified to see what my hair looks like tomorrow but it just needs to happen so anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning <laughs> Wearing this acupressure mask this morning. It's cold, it feels good, it's waking me up. All right, you guys, I'm just getting dressed. I was about to put my hair up, but just wanna say a little goodbye to the hair extensions for a little. Um, I'll probably get them put back in in like August, who knows, maybe sooner, but that's kind of what I envision. It's fun having long hair. I don't, I really like, I mean, this is my natural hair. I guess it's like pretty long. My extensions are more so for volume. So it's just gonna be a little thinner, probably. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get them taken out. I wanted to wear makeup so that when I get my extensions taken out, I feel really cute, but it's 9 a.m. I just don't feel like it. Here's the outfit to go see Mad's hair, my girl. I'm wearing this aloe romper, Matilda Jerf, or J Jerf Avenue blazer bag I rented from Vivrel, it's Prada, and the Air Forces, of course. All right, here we go. All right, I'm here with Mads. Hey guys. We're doing the thing, I'm so nervous, but it's all good. I just wanna have some breathable hair yeah. for the summer. The summer, so you can Things go are happening, water. oh there it is. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see actually, I don't know if you This is see. actually how it looks when it grows out. So it is about like about an inch and a half, two inches grown out. She has no matting. So it actually grows out with the direction of your hair. So there's no tension, no pulling. Look at that. Not bad, thanks Mads for the info. And what's the brand of my extensions again? It is the Hair Shop and these are called the One Step Weft. She does the 18 inch. I have to double check on her color. Um, but yeah, we put about two packs in her hair and she takes really good care of them y'all. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can breathe. I can run my hands through my hair. I can just, oh my God, this feels incredible. Um, so my hair was like actually pretty long once we took it out, but it just had some dead ends. So I had her trim it. I kind of wanted to trim it more and have it super blunt cut, but I was like, let me not do that all in one day. Um, yeah, it feels so weird, but it also just feels so good, like, and my hair just feels so healthy up here because I've been doing the dark roots. Um, yeah, that's that. 
It's definitely like getting used to, obviously. She just kind of like blew it out. But I'm so excited to like try the slick bun and all that with my hair. And yeah, um, I just had one half of a Royo bagel. Those are those bagels I showed earlier in this video. Um, so I'm like kind of hungry now. It's still like 11, so I'm gonna, I'm craving, ooh, I'm craving some like avocado and like eggs with hot sauce. So I think that's what I'm gonna make right now. Um, like I was telling, I don't know why I opened the fridge. I'm not doing that just yet. Today's a, oh, Ryan forgot to, Ryan just came. He's doing some laundry. Today's a day of just doing stuff around my apartment. I just got this from Amazon because I always consistently have like papers and like random lip products, pen stuff over here. And I was like, that's just not gonna move. So I figured I'd get just some sort of simple, I just looked up on Amazon a desk organizer. I can link this below if you guys care. But, cause I always have like random lip products that I like throw in my purse last minute here and papers. So I just thought this was perfect and it kind of blends in with the white, um, here except I just realized my chargers are always gonna be plugged in but I'll just like whatever that's fine so we'll like organize this together I got dishes to do as always doing some podcast stuff and yeah I have some sponsored stuff to shoot for my Instagram of some brands that I'm obsessed with so I'm really excited that they wanted to work with me sorry I just keep touching my hair I'm just like ah that's all she wrote see you guys in a bit I just love this meal so much. Scrambled egg, two eggs, Texas peed hot sauce, a tortilla, avocado with some salt and pepper on top. Mmm, mwah. All right, it is time to organize this little corner. Like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna use this from Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, I just have like papers and business cards and just random stuff. So I think this won't be too hard, but I'm gonna do this now. Ta-da, this looks so much better. I'm so happy with it. I've got my essential oils here, all my lip products, blue light glasses, a pen. I thought I'd keep this out here. It's like um, like a lymphatic drainage thing and I have them all in my bathroom and sometimes I just wanna like sit on my computer and do it. So I thought I'd put one there. Cash, random like tech stuff and then papers, pen. Um, I think it's perfect. It's kind of just what was needed over here. Now instead, like, this will just keep me organized. It was just needed. <laughs> All right, I've pulled my hair back with a claw clip because I just can't be bothered. I just constantly like my hair on my face. Um, it's plan time, as you guys know. Um, this is my doing well daily planner here. I am just going to write down everything I want to get done. Um, it's been a few days since I've written it down on paper. I just have this ongoing list on my phone. So I want to take everything and put it on here because I just seem to get stuff done more if there's like a paper list. I'm like a Google Cal person, but like for some reason day to day I need everything on paper. All right, so I have to do, oh gosh, a lot of random tax stuff right now. I'm switching accountants and like there's just a lot of stuff I need to do there that I should do when I'm home because my mom knows everything. Love that. Okay, I need to post the Gals on the Go giveaway winners today. We did a don't text giveaway, which was fun. Film, two brand deals. I need to take my suitcase down. I write everything down, if you guys can't tell. It's like, why are you writing it down? I need everything written down so that I can cross everything off. It's just my thing. Ah, okay, that's it. But those are things that 
are gonna take a second. So I'm gonna get started. Feels good to have that all written down. Um, yeah, thanks for thanks for joining. Okay, so I've never done a happy return, and I'm I showed you guys the Good American jeans that I tried on, and the first pair I tried on like the tighter, darker blue ones. I want to return, and they use happy returns, and there's like a return bar at this FedEx near me, and I show them this QR code that it gave me, and. I don't need a packaging or label. I'll believe it when I see it, but this is really cool. Every store ever should do this. If you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram, or, well, I guess I did it in this vlog too, um, eating alone has been a big thing for me recently, and I'm kind of trying to make this a movement, if you will, to really inspire you guys. So I made this playlist on my Spotify. It's just Danielle Carolyn, Table for One Club. That's what we're gonna call it, the Table for One Club. I made a playlist because a lot of you guys were like, what do you do when you sit alone and eat alone at a restaurant? Like, what do you do? I either listen to music, I journal, I'll read a book, I'll listen to a podcast. So I started out by making a playlist. I'm obviously going to keep adding to it of music that is just like good vibes, jazzy, but like not just jazzy. There's some John Mayer in here. Just like good vibes of music that I like to listen to. This is a photo I took. I just made like a little Spotify cover and everything. I'm just on one right now. So go follow this playlist if you want and listen to it next time you eat at a restaurant alone or hopefully this inspires you in some capacity. I have a little bit more to do than I thought on my computer, but it's good, it's good. I just added it to the to-do list. I drink like two Topo Chico's a day at this point. I am in my Topo Chico era right now. So refreshing, I love just cracking it open. Ugh, so delicious. Girlfriend of the year over here, Ryan had so much laundry and he was like, don't touch it. like. I'll come later and like finish it. And I was like, no, you have so many loads. Like it'll take forever for you to finish. Like I'll just put them in and out. Um, so finally, this is the finally last load of drying. I even folded it for him because we don't want him to get wrinkled. And he's just got a long day of work and I want to help and I have a little bit of time, you know? Um, so yeah, now I have to wash my Barefoot Dreams blanket though because I got a coffee stain on it, but I'd rather go on the blanket than on my couch because that's what almost happened the other morning. <laughs> Little break for lunch, even though it's four o'clock. <laughs> Leftover Hello Fresh and the broccoli from last night. It's a lot later now. I was shooting content. <laughs> and then uh, Brian and I went for a lovely walk um, with his dog or his roommate's dog. And I did my happy return. I returned my Good American. As easy as it sounds, literally, I went in, he scanned the code, he said, okay, you're good, and he just packaged it. And I love happy returns. I hope more and more stores do happy returns because that was phenomenal. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Headed to my 9.30 workout on Friday mornings. It's with my friend Katie, Katie Bilotti, so it's a lot more fun and it gets me up for the day. Um, here is the workout fit. It's so nice to go outside without a jacket. I did bring a button up because it is 60 degrees, so I don't know. But like when I look outside, other people are in short sleeves, so we'll see. Set is from Beyond Yoga. Rare Beauty gifted it to me. And then sunglasses I just got. I've just been like craving some aviators again, and I like these from Ray-Ban. They've got this like top bar situation, so I'll link them below there on Revolve. Um, back on my claw clip grind. It's easy to do it without extensions. Claw clip is from MEJ. Bag, you guys know I got it earlier this week, so I made it a little bit smaller. And then my Adidas Ultra Boost. And then after that, I'm gonna treat myself to like a pitaya bowl or a green juice of some sort. And come back. And then we have a meeting with Brooke and Emma for Gals in the Go merch and design stuff. And then Brooke and I have to record something really quick. And then we back. So that's kind of the layout for the day. Tonight, uh, today's Kit's birthday, one of my friends, Kit, and she's having a birthday party tonight. It's her birthday slash grad party, which is really fun. So she's gonna make it, sure she made it uh, school themed, like dress what you'd wear to school, which I think is genius. So actually, I'll show you guys really quick. I'm supposed to be leaving the door. I rented this from Fashion Pass. It's giving Blair Waldorf. No Serena today, we're Blair today. I'm gonna wear this with like a headband and like some black tall boots, I think. So, anywho, happy Friday. I hope you're all having an amazing day as you're watching this vlog. Hopefully my hair doesn't look super silly. I'm still learning with my new hair length and everything, but it's gonna be a good day. It's the weekend. Only a few days left in New York before I go home for two weeks. I don't know.
workout is done. It was an amazing Friday workout. It was so fun to work out with Katie again. And now we're headed to get a pitaya bar, pitaya bowl from Baya Bar. I love that place so much. Taxi. I get so happy when I see yellow taxis. I do not know why. So I get the Copacabana bowl at Baya Bar and I add strawberry. And I took it up to my roof because it's a beautiful day. I want to spend it outside as much as I can. Oh my gosh, just realized this is wet. I don't, just that one spot, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Um, anyways, I'm going to enjoy this. Table for one club. Just did more dishes and then I was just vacuuming on the floor. There's just some crumbs from cooking last night. I just lit this candle, it's from The Coop. You guys know how much I love The Coop. This one's called Dinner in Brooklyn. It's leather. Oak moss cedar musk. It smells incredible. I can't lie, I'm living my best life right now. Took a shower, doing the gua sha, drinking a topo. <laughs> Thought I'd turn on the camera. Going to a meeting with Brooke and Emma, our graphic designer. We're doing some summer merch planning because um, we do merch drops like every season, I would say, sometimes even more. So, Gals Lingo podcast, check it out. Um, and we're also doing some other stuff. Like we want to make some new gifs or gifs, however you call it, for Instagram stories for Gals Lingo that are more um, up to par with like our newest designs. Um, and we're going to a place in the West Village actually called Ad Hoc. Um, it's like a coffee shop, but it looks super cute. Emma found it. She always finds really cute little spots. So I'm excited to try it out. Um, but I was gonna walk there, that's why I'm already ready, because I was gonna leave at 11, because it's like a 30 minute walk, or 11, <laughs> leave at one, because it's a 30 minute walk. But my legs, I walked so much this morning to and from workout and worked out, like I just think I'm gonna not walk there, because I'm gonna be in heels later tonight, and I don't know, I'm just kind of tired, so I'm just, I don't always have to be like moving, 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 you know? I'm just like sitting here listening to a podcast, five and out. So yeah, just thought I'd update you guys. Just got back now. Um, we got so much done. I'm so excited about our summer merch. I literally just like pulled my hair back just now, so sorry. Um, I'm listening to Chill Lofi Study Beats. I'm about to do a couple emails as a follow-up of the meeting we just did for merch. I have to like send it to our merch people now. I'm drinking a liquid IV because uh, we have the birthday party tonight for Kit. Um, and I just think I'm gonna be drinking. So I just wanna get some extra hydration in, you know? Um, it's like a gloomy day. It's been like on and off sunny and right now it's not. I think it's supposed to rain tonight sadly, but it just makes me wanna like chill and stay in. But I have like, four hours until Brooks, pre Brooks having a pregame starts. So I've got some time to chill before that and just like listen to music and all that. So yeah, that's all she wrote. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you again to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. Use my code and you'll see. And I'll link below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.